coming to your high school September 2012 blended learning. You've seen it in the news, you heard about it on the streets. The excitement is building. Still feeling in the dark about all these new changes? Well, we'll try to shed some light on it. To start off, education needs a bit of an uplift. Much of your learning has been teacher driven and without a lot of input from you. So, we began to do a lot of research about how you best learn. You're living in a digital age and we need to use the tools you use every day outside of school to create better learning. We also want a system that's flexible to provide you with choice and voice. In order to better understand blended learning, you should get rid of the idea of one teacher at the front of the classroom. You might also want to throw out the traditional timetable and block rotations. While you're at it, you might as well stop thinking of a traditional classroom, even a more updated one. I know, I know, what is blended learning? Blended learning can look quite different from school to school, but it does mean using the best of online tools and technology, along with face-to-face -face interactions, to provide a meaningful learning experience. It requires a major shift in how we think about learning, teaching, and school. First off, teachers become guides for your learning, helping you learn how to learn, rather than just telling you what you need to know. This creates deeper and richer learning for you. But what does this really look like? Each student will have a teacher advisor. Your TA will help you set short and long-term goals. These can include your plans for the next few days or even the next few years. Meeting with your TA every morning will help you focus on these goals. You'll also learn how to manage your time. You'll need to be responsible for meeting deadlines, attending seminars, getting together with other students in resource areas, and setting aside some time for yourself. In a blended learning environment, you get to design your own learning path. In September, you'll take time to decide how you want to organize your year. Things to consider will be what courses you want to take first semester, second semester, or choose to take all year long. You'll be able to access your courses using the Moodle platform. Now, Moodle is simply the place where everything's kept. These are not online courses. You won't be looking at a computer screen every day, all day. Your teachers have been working together to create courses that will give you an opportunity to choose the way you meet learning outcomes. Do you have a particular interest you want to learn more about? Look at the learning outcomes for a course and discuss them with your teacher and discuss ways you can integrate your interests. You won't have just one teacher for a course either. Several teachers may be responsible for delivering and assessing parts of the course. For example, English this year covers English 10, 11, and 12, and you choose your learning path depending on your year and your interests. In addition, there are several teachers that are responsible for delivering and assessing this course, providing you with a lot of choice. All your courses are made up of 30 units. Some units be, may be accessed online, while others will be community-based projects, inquiry projects, or self-directed learning. There will be seminar sessions for guest speakers or tutorial sessions in small groups as well as labs. Sometimes teachers will want to get together to discuss projects. You'll need to sign up for seminars and use online tools like Google Calendar to keep track of your schedule. Moodle will also help you keep track of your progress. This will provide you with skills you need once you leave high school. Keeping organized and staying organized. The best part is you can work at your own pace. Are you a math whiz? Well, you can work ahead and finish math right away. This will leave you more time to work on courses where you know you'll need more help one-on-one -on -one from your teacher. Accessing help from your teachers will be easier than ever. Because teachers aren't spending all their time delivering lectures to a class of 30 students, they'll have more time to meet with you. Instead of classrooms, there'll be a math science resource area as well as a humanities resource area, both staffed with expert teachers. The library will also be available for students to meet and collaborate, as well as somewhere to relax and read. Some teachers will be flipping their classrooms, meaning they'll create short videos uploaded to YouTube that you can watch anywhere, anytime. These videos may cover a math concept or maybe a physics problem. You'll be able to watch them as often as you need to review. When you meet with your teacher, you can then spend time asking questions and applying the concepts to real world situations. Being able to access course content anywhere, anytime allows you to take learning with you. Have to miss school for a sports tournament? No problem. 
training for a ski race and can't make it to class? When you get home, you'll be able to catch up. So, unlike a lot of schools that are banning cell phones, we're encouraging BYOD, or bring your own devices. Using the best of online tools and technology will allow you to learn beyond the walls of the school. We'll teach you how to create your own learning networks, allowing you to connect with experts all over the world. Even though we live in a small community, you'll be able to access resources globally. We also recognize that learning is social. Collaboration with your peers, teachers, and community members and other schools will teach you important skills while allowing you to share your ideas and take your learning to a deeper level. These experiences should be relevant to your interest and be rooted in real world learning. Whether it's helping others, participating in community initiatives, or pursuing your passions, Roslyn Secondary School's blended learning environment will provide you with flexible and personalized learning. You have more access to the teachers who make RSS a great school. You're sure to have questions, so please feel free to write in the comment box on this page and we'll get back to you right away. And don't worry, we'll be providing an introductory course for all students in grades 10, 11, and 12 on the tools and the ins and outs of blended learning. Have a great summer, and we hope you're as excited about this as we are.